Sing all ye nations to our God, sing with a joyful noise, with melody of sound record, God's honors and your joys. Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. This is morning prayer for Wednesday, April the 17th. The scripture for this service, Psalm 38, and Daniel chapter 5, verse 1 through 12. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, O God, rebuke me not in your wrath, and neither chasten me in your hot displeasure. Alleluia, Psalm 38. Alleluia, O God, rebuke me not in your wrath, neither chasten me in your hot displeasure, for your arrows stick fast in me, and your hand presses me down. My body is sick because of your anger. There is no rest in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities are piled higher than my head, a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me to bear. My wounds are foul and festering because of my own foolishness. I am troubled. I am greatly bowed down. I go mourning all the day long. For my frame is filled with a loathsome disease, and all my body is sick. I am feeble and crushed. I cry aloud in anguish of heart. My God, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hid from you. My heart pants, my strength fails. As for the light of my eyes, it also is gone from me. My lovers and my friends avoid me like a leper, and my family stands afar. They that seek my life lay snares, and they that seek my hurt speak harmful things and plot against me all the day long. But I, like the deaf, did not hear, and I, like the mute, did not speak. Thus I was like one who hears nothing, and in whose mouth there is no defense. For in you, O God, I hope, you will hear me, my God. Hear me, lest they rejoice over me. When my foot slips, they triumph against me. For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. I confess my iniquity, and I am sorry for my sin. But my enemies are lively and strong. Many are they that hate me wrongfully. They repay me evil for good because I seek what is right. Forsake me not, O God. My God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me. O God, my salvation. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O oh God, rebuke me not in your wrath, neither chasten me in your hot displeasure. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Daniel, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Belshazzar's Feast King Belshazzar made a great festival for a thousand of his lords, and he was drinking wine in the presence of the thousand. And under the influence of the wine, Belshazzar commanded that they bring in the vessels of gold and silver that his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple in Jerusalem, so that the king and his lords and wives and concubines might drink from them. And so they brought in the vessels of gold and silver that had been taken out of the temple, the house of God in Jerusalem. And the king and his lords, his wives and concubines drank from them. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold and silver, bronze, iron, wood, and stone. Immediately the fingers of a human hand appeared and began writing on the plaster of the wall of the royal palace next to the lampstand. The king was watching as it wrote. And then the king's face turned pale, 
and his thoughts terrified him. His limbs gave way, and his knees knocked together. The king cried aloud to bring in the enchanters, the Chaldeans, and the diviners. And the king said to the wise men of Babylon, Whoever can read this writing and tell me its interpretation shall be clothed in purple and have a chain of gold around his neck and rank third in the kingdom. Then all the king's wise men came in, but they could not read the writing or tell the king its interpretation. Then King Belshazzar became greatly terrified. His face turned pale and his lords were perplexed. The queen, when she heard the discussion of the king and his lords, came into the banquet hall and said, O king, live forever. Do not let your thoughts terrify you or your face grow pale. There is a man in your kingdom who is endowed with the spirit of the holy gods. In the days of your father, he, found, he was found to have enlightenment, understanding, and wisdom like the wisdom of the gods. Your father, King Nebuchadnezzar, made him chief, chief of the magicians, enchanters, Chaldeans, and diviners, because an excellent spirit, knowledge, and understanding to interpret dreams, explain riddles, and solve problems were found in this Daniel, whom the king named Belteshazzar. Now let Daniel be called, and he will give the interpretation. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for God's people throughout the world, for our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, for this gathering and for all people. for peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for goodwill among nations and for justice and peace. For the poor, the sick, especially Melissa and Carol, the hungry, the oppressed, those in prison and those in any need or trouble. For the mercy of God community and for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for all who seek God, that they, or a deeper knowledge of God, that they may find and be found. We pray for the departed, especially Charles, and for all who have died. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, make haste to help us. Hear our prayer. Forgive us our sins and offenses as we place our hope in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.